Right, men, first event on P Company, 10 mile of this morning, 10 miles in two hours. That achieves you 10 points. This is your ability to get from the DZ to a forming up point in FUP. If you can't get to that place and contribute to the mission, you add nothing, and therefore you are not what we want from airborne forces. Everyone's here to earn the maroon machine, yes? OK, we need to win, all right? We're not here to come second. OK, this is why we're an elite band of men. Your legs are going to fall off and your lungs are going to explode. You'll be sucking it in from London town men, understood? But you need to drive through, work through the pain, OK? stretch race. It's hard, it's tough. It's meant to be hard and tough for a reason, OK? It's to simulate a casualty moving off the battlefield. OK, listen in! Prepare to change! What we do here is test people under conditions of stress. So when they think they're tired, we take them that one bit further and, and see what they're like uh, and see what they're made of. We've got certain standards, uh, we've got certain criteria. If you don't meet those, uh, we cannot let you serve uh, with a parachute battalion or a 16 or assault brigade. This evening we have fresh pictures just into us of the fighting in Afghanistan. Specifically, an ambush just today of British forces caught on videotape. It happened in the southern part of Afghanistan during a mission to resupply a forward operating base. Bill Neely of our British broadcasting partner ITN is embedded with the soldiers who came under fire during a helicopter landing. The British troops had sang in and failed. It seemed like third time lucky, but lucky's not the word for it. Gunners fired as the four helicopters approached Britain's most exposed military base in Afghanistan. This gunfire was nothing to what followed. There had been warnings of a Taliban threat to helicopters, so British troops were ready in strength at the landing spot. But as dawn broke, the Taliban were ready too. Troops retaliate with massive firepower, light tanks and dozens of men raining ammunition on the Taliban. Afghan troops firing rocket-propelled grenades. The Taliban too fire RPGs. They fly just over our heads. Troops catch glimpses of the Taliban between five and ten fighters.